Yo what's up everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix the finals crashing, freezing and not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and launch the game. If you can't launch the game then skip on to the next method. So we now need to click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner and then go on to settings. You now need to go on to graphics or video should I say and we're then going to change the window mode. So we're going to select windowed full screen. Now this resolves a lot of crashing issues with games, so go ahead and try this option. If you already had this option selected, then go ahead and use full screen. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is scroll down a bit further and ensure that ray tracing is changed to static. Once you've changed static, go ahead and jump into game and see if that resolved the issues you were having. If it didn't, then lower the graphics all the way down. Oh, went the wrong way then all the way down to low and then jump into game if that works then slowly raise the graphics also that brings me on to in another video that i will do hopefully tomorrow i will show you how to improve the fps and performance in the finals so if you're interested in that video then click the subscribe button so that's enough for the game let's now jump into windows and see what else we can do to fix crashing with the finals so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that windows is up to date just right click on the start menu icon go to settings go to update and security and then click on the check for updates button and install any optional quality updates also make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card again right click on the start menu icon go to device manager expand display adapters you will see your graphics card there. I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that I've done on how you can update your graphics card if you're not sure on how. So you can see I've got an AMD, so I'd need to download the latest driver for an AMD. Also, if you download a program that I created called Easy Game Utility, you can see what graphics card you have there. And then just simply click on driver download and it will then take you straight to the manufacturer's website. So Easy Game Utility does also bring me on to the next method. So the link is in the description below and once you've downloaded the program just click on the clean tab and then just click on clean next to steam and click on ok. I'm not actually going to do that, I don't want to clear the cache files at the second because I am currently signed into steam. So once you've cleared the cache files for steam head on over to the graphics option and click on clean next to AMD or your graphics card and then click on clean next to DirectX shader cache. Now once you've done that, go ahead and launch the finals again and see if that resolved the issue you were having. Another thing that we want to do next in Easy Game Utility is go onto the Network tab and then click on Clean next to Clear DNS Cache Files. So once you've done that, again, we now want to go onto the Fix tab and you're then going to want to go onto Custom Game Fix It. Now this is only if you're still struggling to launch the game and it keeps crashing. So what you can do now is click on browse and locate the game files for the finals. So I'm just going to go to the location now where I installed the game. So once you're in the finals folder just select the discovery.exe and go open. Select Steam because that's where the game is, that's what we've used. Unless they release the finals on something else, then select that launcher. Now just click on Attempt to Fix and then Easy Game Utility will run through a few different methods to hopefully resolve the issue you're having with the game and launch it and fix the problem. So if that didn't work, then the next thing that we want to do is open up File Explorer. Now click in the address bar and do the percentage symbol and type in local and then app and then data and then the percentage symbol and press enter. So we are now going to be looking for a folder that says discovery. Just right click on this bad boy and go rename and just add CS to the end. Now press enter and go ahead and launch the finals again and see if that resolved the problem that you were having with the game. Now if it didn't then ensure that you do not have anything else running with Windows when you are launching the finals such as a web browser, a music player, I kind of pause them for a second but anyway, um, MSI Afterburner. Also if you are using MSI Afterburner to overclock your hardware and you know how then remove those overclock settings as overclocking your hardware can also cause issues with the finals crashing. In fact that can cause many problems with many games so remove those overclock settings. That does also bring me on to security software if you have the option to um, put your security software into a passive or a game mode, then go ahead and do that. 
If you feel comfortable enough, then disable your security software, launch the game and see if that resolved the issue. If it did, then you need to add an exception to the finals. But just keep in mind, you might not be protected while your security is disabled. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. I would also say other things that can cause issues with the finals crashing is if you have another user signed into Windows. So if you right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager, go across to users, just ensure no one else is currently signed in and if they are select them and click on sign out. But obviously just ensure that all the work and stuff is saved on that account before doing it as they will lose it. So I will do a guide as well with more methods that I can think of to fix the finals crashing. And I am always updating Easy Game Utility to help with crashing issues and stuff with lots of games. So if you do want to help support that program as well, then there is a pro version and I will thank you now for that if you purchase it. So anyway, that's it for this video. Um, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and hit that like button if you enjoyed it.